Uh, welcome to another episode of the Talk Drift Devlog. Uh, we monkeys, Ben, Billy, and Lockie, and uh, there's been a lot going on the past two weeks. So, boys, what's what's been going on? Had some deliveries. Yep. Had a new plaque outside. So we changed names at Grease Monkey Games. So changed the plaque, which was exciting. Looks good. Looks good. Looks Billy, so good. Billy messed it up a little bit. A little, it's got some bubbles, bubbles in it. Yeah. Some bubbles, but <laughs> looks much enough. more professional. Yeah, yeah, when people are walking past, they're like, oh, they make games. That's what yeah. they do. Yeah. I guess some attention. And um, we've got some monitors. Um, yeah, we've got decked out. We've got spoiled. Um, yeah. so, uh, the Christmas on Monday. The, the power that they <clears throat> spoiled us all. Uh, it was, uh, yeah, <laughs> really nice. And we attended a few events as well. So the Vic Drift um, local event. I can't remember what round it was. Three? Yeah. yeah so right. we went to that, um, which was two weeks ago. And we had Motor X. Yeah, Maguire's Motor X at the showgrounds. It's basically a car enthusiast slash burnout kind of car Just vehicle. Just everything, motorsport, yeah, motorsport everything. motorsport in general. So there was drift, drifting there. There was huge, ridiculous muscle cars. It was, it was pretty crazy. We also met a really good uh, group of, of drift, or a, a drift community called um, Down DC. Uh, they're local boys that are trying to make uh, track time easier for everyone and cheaper and yes. we kind of yes. hit off really well with them so we're going to do some uh, in, in, in some talks with them to start doing some collab stuff and um, possibly run some stuff together and, and we'll see where that, where that heads. Get out um, with the cars. Yeah, but very exciting. Speaking of, speaking of cars. <laughs> speaking of the cars. Yeah. Um, so a few things have changed with the the BRZ and the 180. Yep. So the BRZ's got a new clutch in it. Uh, clutch. Not clutch, uh, diff. <laughs> <laughs> the other one. A bit different. That's the <laughs> other end. <laughs> um, so that's back on the running. Um, drive around now. Yeah, and it and just wants to. It wants to just kick out. So the yeah, the, the, the two-way Cosco diff. It just wants to wants to slide out. It's just begging wants to, to be, run. Yeah. Be skidded. Yeah. <laughs> drift diff. Drift diff. Yeah. yeah, and you'll be able to have a drive, Ben. You haven't driven it yet, have you? Yeah. Soon. Yeah. So it keeps getting good. pushed back. You know, <laughs> people break diffs. Uh, yeah, <laughs> cars don't work. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was you, mate. All right, we all know. All right, all right. Um, the 180 also went for a tune. A few mishaps getting it there. Just drove it down the road. Get it to almost where the trailer is. And there's fuel absolutely pissing out of the bottom of it. So that's not good. Oh, yeah. But uh, so when we got it, got it there, basically. They said the wiring is pretty cooked. That was the, that was the understatement. That was the G-rated version. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 pretty pretty cooked. So um, they couldn't tune it on the day, um, unfortunately. So we have to take it back and getting a new loom. Yeah, um, and an auto elect to reinstall that. Um, we're basically getting just too much interference. So that's hopefully going to get fixed within the next couple of weeks. Back on the dyno, get it all tuned, get it running right on the track. Hopefully by July. Yeah. Or we see what's next to fix. Yes, uh, okay. car stuff. Classic. The wonderful, yeah, the wonderful, <laughs> yeah, the wonderful journey of cars, right? <laughs> now the game. So, lots change as well. Not a ton of like visual exciting <laughs> stuff, I'd say. But yeah, we've worked on a couple of big features. The the paint shop where you can fully customize your car is coming along pretty well. Most of the UI with that is is having some work done, uh, and we've been doing heaps in the in the player run tournaments, getting that started. Um, so that should be super exciting. I know heaps of people want that. Mm. So, yeah, yeah they're in the got, works. You guys were working on a, um, how the bracket's going to get shown with the tournaments as well and, and how that system's going to function. Uh, we also finalized how engines as a part or engines themselves are going to work in relation to the cars um, and then added a few more parts. I know I think last yep. vlog we said we knew them all, but a yep. nah, few more have come in, more. So, uh, <laughs> which is good. I mean, think it makes it... Um, more detailed and, and, and closer to real world, which is better. Um, yeah, so I guess now we're probably just gonna dive in and show some of the tunable and customization features that the game has to offer. Hey everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna now look at the tunable parts in the cars um, that we offer in Talk Drift. We've got a lot of tunable features from suspension settings to engine components. Um, we kind of just got it here a stock-ish looking S15 that doesn't look all that great to show you the level at which you can tune it to give it mad stance. If we jump into the front wheels, I'll probably go back. Front wheels, we have tunable tires, calipers, 
our angle kit, the coil overs, and your wheels themselves. Um, keep in mind that this is all still work in progress stuff and some stuff will, may, may not change um, as we go. So if we come into the angle kit, again, some things will change. We come into tune it and we have these four settings available here. Um, you can change your lock and this will basically change and show you how uh, the degree at which that can um, move to based on the, the range that the part actually has. Um, so, for argument's sake, let's make it pretty ballsy. Back and stay. Back and stay. Already looking better. Already. Looking fresh. Already. Uh, so, I'm going to jump into the coilovers and just give ourselves some. Um, just lower it a bit. So, you can do spring length and spring stiffness. Um, and they'll obviously change the ride height of your car, but also drastically change the feel um, of how you absorb bumps along the road while you're drifting. Automatically already, we're starting to see it look a little bit more gangster. So we'll chuck the back on, let's quickly do the back the same. Full camber, just why not? Yep. Gotta have that stance right. Just want to be. There's some mad alloys as well. Yeah. So these are actually um, Yokohama Advan wheels. I'm not yeah. sure which model. Like, RC3s, I think. Um, yeah. And we've got a lot of their uh, their wheels in the game. So now you're already seeing just how much more stanced and gangster it looks. We also have engine components. So at the moment, we've just got these four components that um, affect many things. Clutch is probably one of the main ones where you can change your final drive and your gear ratios. We're currently running a, a three gear dog box um, and you basically have quite a, a, a variable range. Again, this stuff's all still work in progress to work with our balance. So these don't take these numbers as anything as gospel yet. Um, oh yeah, that's just looking awesome. So yeah, we want to give um, players as much uh, ability and options to make their car theirs. Um, and all these things will drastically change how the car feels, obviously, as I said previously, but um, if you want to, you can just stance it and make it look awesome. So that's currently where we're at with our customization. Um, we we'll may give you some more videos as we go. Um, next week, is, we're gonna look quite in depth to the paint store as that's been a focus on um, this last two weeks and there's been a lot of progress in that. Yeah, maybe we can paint paint this car. Yeah, we'll paint finish we'll, her off. We'll paint this car and, and then uh, give her and, a drive. Oh yeah, and then uh, we'll show you maybe not uh, next next one, but the one after we'll, we'll we'll show you as well how the settings can actually change the drive and, and, and the feel of the car um, as you're drifting around corners. Look at that. Was so that was yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. So that was the customization of the the tuning that. Um, you can also, a small part of the tuning that you can do with parts within the game. It's pretty widespread, and as you can see, it can change not only the aesthetic of your car, but um, how the car handles and feels um, pretty ridiculously. Awesome. Well, we'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. So of course, you're going to go all negative. <laughs> Get that stance. <laughs> it's all about stance. <laughs>